So this is a, just a quick tutorial as an overview to how to use the Rotary View tool in Photoshop. Uh, the Rotary View tool, um, basically it's uh, situated with the hand tool. So uh, as you can see, it's got a new shortcut though by its own, so it's an R. Um, so if the hand tool is just visible, click on the hand tool and then below it you can see the Rotate View. Uh, the Rotate View is spring loaded by the way, so it means that um, if you're in the middle of retouching and you need to actually rotate something, if you just press and hold the R button, it will rotate it. You'll see a little bit more as we go through this now. So if we just select the rotational tool, you can see straight away that basically it's uh, just being dragged left and right by the actual use of the cursor, or the mouse I should say, and you can actually constrain the way that it rotates in several ways. Uh, one would be in to set a very distinct rotation. So if you do 45 degrees uh, at the top here, every time I kind of then do it, it's gonna rotate it in a very specific. Um, I've got a reset button here at the top. So if I had uh, rotated it, hitting the reset button basically straightens it straight up straight away. So for instance, if I was in the middle of um, uh, retouching, perhaps I'm using the likes of the brush tool, and I was uh, just beginning to perhaps uh, retouch an eyelash out or whatever it would be, and but I wanted to rotate it because I was using the pen tool, basically just hold down the R key and then you can rotate it without having to actually change the uh, uh, from uh, from the brush tool and so on with it things. So just allowing you to quickly move in and out uh, is just spring loaded. So R and then uh, back into the brush. And so we just go from here. Uh, another way as well is if you're working with multiple windows at the same time, let's uh, lay four up for a minute. And you can see here, if we basically uh, go in and we select the uh, rotate tool again, remember it's below the hand tool. But basically, if I click on the rotate all windows, as I rotate one, it rotates all the other images as well. That's very useful if you're specifically doing some retouching on headshots, wherever it be, and you know you're going to have to do the same retouch on a certain scar or a mark on the face and so on. Just by unclicking it again then will allow you to just rotate one image at a time uh, to take your control. Remember, reset in view at any stage just by clicking on it. If you need to reset all four at once, click on rotate all windows then reset view and it resets itself. So uh, just a quick oversee of the uh, rotational tool there. Uh, remember, in addition to the uh, freehand mode where you just move from left to right, you can give it a specific rotate angle at the top, reset view, open all or uh, the windows visible in the same rota uh, rotation. And at the same time, if you uh, click on the um, shift key whilst you do it. It's uh, a little bit less in the uh, just basic animated way here like we're doing it. It will actually set it in the angles that we perform.